Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve e power x equal to 3x by the method of fixed point iteration. So as a first step, we are going to take this as a function f of x by bringing all the terms to one side. We have e power x and by taking this 3x to the other side, we get minus 3x. Now we have to take two values such that f of x value changes its sign. Let me take 0 first. So f of 0 is e power 0 minus 3 into 0. Anything power 0 is 1. Anything into 0 is 0. So this is 1 and here we are getting a positive value. Then we are going to take another value 1 and check the value of the function which is e power 1 minus 3 into 1. And here e power value. So e power 1 I want. So e power 1 is 2.718283. Let us keep going. We can round up to 4 decimal places. So 2.7183. 2.7183 minus 3. This gives, let's calculate here, 2.7183 minus 3. 0 0.2817 with a negative sign. So this gives minus 0 0.2817. So 2817. Here we got a negative value. So we found two values of x in which f of x value changes its sign. It means the root lies between these two x values. So we can say the root lies between 0 and 1. Now we are going to take the function e power x equal to 3x and going to write this in terms of x in terms of x itself that is x is equal to g of x. So for this we have to take this 3x to the other side or 3 to the other side. So x will be remaining here and on the other side it is e power x by 3. So we got x equal to e power x by 3. So from this we can say g of x is e power x by 3. Now we have to find g dash of x. g dash of x is once again e power x by 3 only and we have to find the modulus of this function and once again it is e power x by 3. We have to use those two x values 1 is 0. So g dash of 0 with modulus. So e power 0 by 3 which is 1 by 3 it is less than 1. In the same way g dash of 1 we have to find which is e power 1 by 3 and already we calculated 0 point e value is sorry 2.7183. So here it is 2.7183. 3 divided by 3. Let's calculate this one. 0 0.27183. Sorry. 2.7183. This value divided by 3 gives 0 0.9061. So 0.9061 e1 this is less than 1 so this method can be applied. Now we have to choose a value between 0 and 1 and take it as a x0. Let me choose x0 as 0 0.5 and we have to find x1 from the function e power x by 3 and this can be written as e power x0 by 3. Now this is e power 0. 5 divided by 3. We are going to use calculator. In this we take 0 0.5 e power of this then divided by 3. We can round up to 4 decimal places 0 0.549571. So when we round up to 4 decimal places it becomes 96 at the end. 0 0.5496. 0 0.5496. Now coming to x2. It is e power x1 by 3. So it is e power 0 0.5496 whole divided by 3. So once again 
zero point five four nine six e power of this value and divided by three zero point five seven seven five one when we round off it is zero point five seven seven five zero point five seven seven five coming to x three e power x two by three which is e power zero point five seven seven five whole divided by three so from this zero point five seven seven five e power of that divided by three zero point five nine three when we round off it becomes three nine zero point five nine three nine zero point five nine three nine coming to the successive iterations it will be get consecutive same values this is e power x3 by 3 so e power 0.5939 divided by 3 so this is 0.5939 e power of that then divided by 3 0.6036 Six. We round up three seven zero point six zero three seven zero point six zero three seven. Then after this, we have to take x five, which is e power x four by three e power zero point six zero three seven divided by three. So let's calculate here zero point six zero three seven. E power of that then divided by three, zero point six zero nine six, zero point six zero nine six. Then successive iteration x six, e power x five by three, e power zero point six zero nine six by three. So here it will be point six zero nine six e power of that divided by three. 0.6132, 0.6132, coming to x7, which is e per x6 by 3, and e per 0.6132 whole divided by 3. So coming to this calculation, 0.6132 e power of that and divided by 3. 0.61544, 0.6154. Then x8, x8 is e per x7 by 3. So e per 0.6154 by 3. So this will be 0.6154 e power of that divided by 3. 0.61679 and we round off 0.6168, 0.6168 coming to x9, which is e per x8 by 3, e per 0.6168 by 3. So this will be 0.6168 e power of that divided by 3. We get 0.61. Seven seven after round off zero point six one seven seven. Then coming to the next iteration, x ten e per x nine by three, which is e per zero point six one seven seven by three, and this value is point six one seven seven e power of that divided by three. 0.6182, 0.6182. Next iteration x11 e per x10 by 3 e per 0.6182 divided by 3. Coming to the calculation, 0.6182 e power of that divided by 3. 0.6185, 0.6185. Then x12 is e per x11 by 
e power 0 0.6185 by 3 so this will be 0.6185 this value divided by 3 0 0.6187 0 0.6187 then coming to x13 which is e power x12 by 3 which is e power 0 0.6187 by 3 and this value is 0 0.6187 e power of that divided by 3 now this value is 0 0.6188 so 0 0.6188 then coming to x14 which is e power x13 by 3 e power 0 0.6188 divided by 3 this value on calculation 0.6188 e power of that divided by 3 0 0.6189 0 0.6189 then coming to x15 which is e power x14 divided by 3 e power 0 0.6189 divided by 3 on calculation we get 0.6189 e power of that divided by 3 0 0.6189 6 when we round off it will become 0 0.6190 0 0.6190 Coming to x16 which is e power x15 divided by 3 which is e power 0 0.6190 divided by 3 and this will be 0 0.6190 e power of that divided by 3. When we round up 0 0.6190 so 0 0.6190 so when we check the two successive values we get same it means we can say that is x15 equal to x16 that is equal to 0 0.6190 so we can say the better approximate root is 0 0.6190 correcting to four decimal places